bullhorns, American flags, and cardboard signs denouncing Islam. About two dozen protesters showed up across the street from the Islamic Center in Temecula. Supporters outnumbered protesters by a wide margin. Arlington police have stepped up patrols around city mosques after vandalism and anti-Islam graffiti appeared on the South Arlington Mosque. This is an insult, this is demeaning, this is humiliating that you would build a shrine to the very ideology that inspired the attacks of 9-11. When people are talking about Islam being a religion of peace, this is baloney. It just isn't. Islam is not a religion of peace, but the Quran promotes uh, violence. America was not built on hatred. America was built on love. The First Amendment to the Constitution is the best friend that religion has in this nation. The principles that protect Muslims today here in this country will protect Christians, Jews, and others tomorrow. We stand by the principle that to attack any religion in the United States is to do violence to the religious freedom of all Americans. Those of us who care about this country, we have, to, we have learned that we have to stand up for our Muslim brothers and sisters and say, this is not okay. Muslims know that the Quran will not disappear with the burning of a book. It wouldn't disappear with the burning of all of the Qurans in the world because millions of Muslims across the world have memorized the Quran. We had to speak more directly to the anti-Muslim bigotry that is going on across America today. As religious leaders in this great country, we have come together in our nation's capital to denounce categorically the derision, misinformation, and outright bigotry being directed against America's Muslim community. Uh, some of the most uh, offensive statements about Islam, unfortunately, have, been, uh, have come forth from the Baptist community. And therefore, some of us as Baptist leaders felt that it was important for us to join with IVNA and with our Muslim brothers and sisters. Part of the problem is that we have not shared these things widely enough. We've taken them for granted and we've assumed that if we do it locally, that's enough. No, now we're saying, now we're realizing that we need to be able to share these with one another, that the word about interfaith relations, tolerance, dialogue will be lifted up as the dominant voice and not simply hidden in ways that we may have done too much of in the past. We have to make sure that, that our country is, is known around the world as a place where, where liberty of, of religion, where respect for your neighbor, where love for your neighbor, where these things are, are the most prominent in, in our society. We have um, signed the Common Word document and engaged in that as a principle of, of religious freedom, respect and reciprocity uh, between Christians and Muslims. It's why we've engaged with um, uh, our Jewish colleagues in education of our congregations about each other's faith so that there is not distortion of what Jews are and what they believe and what Judaism is on the part of Muslims. As an evangelical, I say to those who do this, I say you bring dishonor to the name of Jesus Christ you directly disobey his commandment to love our neighbor. And so it's not just a religious issue, it's not just a media issue, it has become a political issue. It should not have become that kind of issue. And I think we need to speak out against that. The successful integration of Muslims in America has become a model for the rest of the world, for Europe in particular. European governments are sending their people, their delegations and leaders here to study how these things have been achieved. We are preaching the gospel. It's not exclusive. It's inclusive. It's not about hate. It's, it's about love. One of the next steps that has been discussed is the possibility of another meeting like this one, but much larger, with people of various faiths across the country coming together to talk about what are the real strategies we need to do together to end this anti-Muslim bigotry. Our message is a message of working together, working for each other, taking care of the person who needs help, and making sure that we try to live everybody together in a good and holy life. That's what America is, and that's the message that I pray that we will get out to all the peoples of the world so that they will know who we are and who we're trying to be. So it's a great joy for me and a great privilege to be here. Thank you.